Hi guys, welcome to another reaction video of mine. I'm here reacting to Re Zero Starting Life in Another World, Season 1, Episode 22. So let's get into it and press play. Just meow getting around to joining us, Julius. Thanks so much for gracing us with your presence. Please, you're going to ruin my reputation. Now listen, you seem to be mistaken. I am not the man called Julius. Let me see. Perhaps I'll go by something like Jules instead. Even if it is temporary, a man who has the status of a knight must never lower himself to the rank of a common mercenary. The man you see standing here before you is not Julius Euclius the knight. I am but a simple wanderer by the name of Jules. It would seem you're doing better than I expected. Tell me, how are you feeling, Subaru? <laughs> well, it was just some scratches. A little spit fixed everything right up, pretty much. And how have things been with you since our little disagreement, huh? Busy apologizing for fighting so seriously with an amateur? That's not what I was asking about. I was referring to the damage to your honor by the Mobby's subjugation. <sighs> but I'm glad to hear your wounds from our previous encounter have healed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to all of you, we succeeded in taking out the White Whale. However, it's not over yet. I have a score to settle with those weirdos in the witch's cult who decided to pick a fight with me. Once that's done, the white whale subjugation will be complete. The witch's cult is up next? I don't like to recall it, but I've run up against the witch's cult once before. I found out then. Didn't you look into that connection before, old man Will? I wouldn't call my findings definitive evidence, but instances of whale appearances and cult activities seem to coincide in many respects. I'd say that makes it doubly credible. And on that note, we're going to make our way to the Mather's Domain. That cult is hiding in the forest there. The way to defeat them is as simple as it gets. We'll raid them before they can read our movements and crush them. I'm concerned. Is there a way to keep the villagers safe? Already taken care of. I asked Miss Anastasia and Russell to talk to the merchants along the highway. For those in the mansion, a messenger from Miss Cruchet's household will deliver them a handwritten letter. Nobody there knows about the Alliance. Sounds like we can get the ball rolling then. Yeah! We've quite the upper hand here. We've never had such an advantage battling the witches. I don't know. It sounds yeah. too good to be true, now, right? Julius and his crew joining us, there's no way we'll be outnumbered. No, don't jinx it. Let's take them down without another death. Not one person. Let's win this thing and all go back home alive. I don't know. I still can't believe that you actually defeated it. The subjugation of the White Whale has been a wish the Imperial Knights have held for as long as anyone can remember, but were never able to fulfill. It would seem. I owe you my thanks. Look, you don't have to force it, okay? For putting an end to what seemed like an unstoppable calamity that all nations ignored for far too long. I sincerely thank you. That's nice. Ah, oh, damn it all! Crap! Listen, I know, I know, okay? I know it now, alright? Oh. It was all my fault. Sorry. Look, I'm sorry, but I still hate your freaking guts. I feel bad for what happened. <laughs> I'm really grateful you're here to help us out. Understandable. I'm quite certain I could never befriend you either. Some things aren't meant to be. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> you must be exhausted, Leah. You should lie down and rest for a bit. <clears throat> I don't think that I'll be able to fall asleep. Aren't you getting tired, though? No way. I'm fine. The forest barrier is all fixed up, too. You don't have to worry about anything. This feels a little bit like the time I found a big, ugly insect in the corner of a quiet room. So, you guys are drawn to the smell, huh? Looks like I'm perfect cockroach bait. Man, I must reek. Thank you for meeting me. I know you just got here and all, but the business that I need to discuss, it's really more of a matter for me and your boss, not you guys. So don't get in my way. I've been waiting ever so patiently for you, believer in love. I am a sin archbishop of the witch's cult, representing Sloth, Betelgeuse, Romani Conte. Yeah. I welcome you, beloved child, blessed with love. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Hey. 
I really appreciate the unexpected welcome, but I gotta admit, I'm not sure I really feel all of this love you keep bringing up. It always begins suddenly out of the blue. Everyone on a certain day comes to the realization that they're indeed loved. They feel it. The love, 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 the hate. So, what exactly am I supposed to do now? Now tell me something, boy. You wouldn't happen to be pride, would you? Out of the six sin archbishops in total, only the seat of pride remains unclaimed and vacant. A query for you. You have received the gospel, have you not? The gospel? My pride! I tremble! Presentation of the gospel! Where is the proof of love? <laughs> the proof! 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 doesn't seem to be an account of you anywhere in my gospel. That book is the gospel? Explain yourself. Why appear here before me? Why visit this place in particular? What fortune are you here to bestow upon me, boy? Huh? Ah, oh, darn it. My bad. I'm sorry. About what? My gospel is, well, you see, I used it as a coaster and it got messy. So I threw it in the trash. Proof of love! Nay! Authority of sloth! Behold the unseen hand! How did you... Oh, wow. Crappy trick. An unseen hand isn't all that great if I can see it and evade it. What did you say? You can see my unseen hand? Okay, I'd say I'm just about done buying time. for all the terrible things you've done! My brain! My brain trembles! I understand! Let's do this! I'm ready to do this! I'm not afraid! The time has come to find out which one of us is worthy of our love! Worthy of our love, yes! Our love! Sorry to interrupt your screamy fun, but... I've got someone else lined up to take you on. Yeah! Oh my word. Thanks for that, Wilhelm. I hope it wasn't asking too much. Really? What do you mean? Isn't cutting someone down from behind without warning, like, the worst thing a knight can do? Chivalry is a code of conduct that's long dead. You need not concern yourself with that. What is this? Some kind of book? Well, I think that particular book is the one Betelgeuse called the Gospel. Ah! Is it really that dangerous? Huh. The Gospel is the proof that one belongs to the witch's cult. It's basically what you'd call their sacred text. Well, I guess I'll take this with me. If I can decipher it, maybe I can figure out what the witch's cult really is. So the subordinates that Betelgeuse called fingers number ten in total, correct? Well then, shall we find the others? Now, this freaking nature is actually dead, right? He's not gonna come back the second we look away, is he? Fine! If you're that worried about it, we'll make extra sure! We crushed two of the ones called Fingers here. A few of the cultists were skilled, but in the end, they weren't a threat. Our group took out Betelgeuse! But Subaru, he's a worrywart! So that's why we flew him to bits! Blasting that creep Kaboom-style after we killed him! Whoa! We rendezvous soon with the dragon-drawn carriages you arranged. Let's eliminate the remaining fingers and greet our victory over this cult together. <laughs> He's dead. Betelgeuse should be dead! So who's using... Subaru! Oh, shoot. Is this 
finger? Yes! Let me go! I am a finger that carries out whatever needs to be done! One who reciprocates love! I am a disciple! A faithful and diligent one, to be sure! That's true! This could possibly... Could it be worse for us? It is exceedingly displeasing, dissatisfying, disturbing, disagreeable, discomforting, disproportionate, discordant! But that is the proof which tells me you are pride! Don't make me keep saying it! I'm not even close to being pride! Even so, soon enough you will quite readily receive! The gospel! My love's guidance! The gospel that allows me, inexperienced though I may be, to reciprocate love! What happened? Why is it not with me now? Wait a moment. Was it you? 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 You, 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 you! Did you steal my copy of the gospel? What is spirit? I believe this may not even be a matter of knowing which of them is the real one. You don't mean the Sin Archbishop of Sloth might actually be more than one person? Possibly. Or all hundred followers, including the fingers, of the Sin Archbishop of Sloth. If I'd realized it sooner, I could have avoided this. Damn it! I knew what kind of power it was, so I... Subaru, sir. <laughs> I'm sure many thoughts are going through your mind right now. And I'm certain none of them are superficial. But while it may be somewhat inelegant of me to say so, I feel rather compelled to speak from my heart and my mind on this. <laughs> even if you have regrets, even if you're completely remorseful, you must fight on. Don't give up for one second, one moment, for one instant. Cling greedily to the victory you have within your sight. You mustn't ever stop. Are you telling me to get stronger? Hardly. I'm telling you to be strong. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Lend me your wisdom and your strength. As of right now, the witch's cult hasn't had enough time to notice that we've gotten away. Which means we can get Amelia and the rest in carriages and get them to safety in plain sight. With Miss Amelia and the others out of harm's way, we won't have to worry about them anymore, so we can focus on conquering the witch's cult. Yeah, that's exactly right. And while I'm at it, there's one more thing I want to say to you. Subaru, you should really settle things and make up with Julia soon. Understand? So, uh... Hey, listen. There's something that... Something that I wanted to say to you, but... It's hard for... What? <laughs> All right, so that was Reed Zero starting life in another world, season one, episode twenty-two. I don't like seeing that satanic priest or whatever it is. Oh, creeps me out. I hope they're able to get rid of each and every one of them. I just want to see how it plays out once he is able to reach Amelia if everything's gonna pan out for the best or things aren't gonna go good for him <laughs> well until next time guys i thank you all for watching i'll talk to you guys soon god bless bye